Hello to you all. Have you noticed over the last few weeks I've been getting taller and taller? Thanks in no small part to this untamable mess of a haircut. Well, I've been able to book myself in thanks to the great news that we've all been hearing over this last week or so. And uh, I'm looking forward to just that simple pleasure of getting a haircut. Of course, there's many other things that we can look forward to over these next few weeks. But for now, I invite you to join me for a coffee with the curate. You are very welcome to another Coffee with the Curate. Uh, of course, as I mentioned, there's lots of news that has been released over these last couple of weeks about the way forward through lockdown. Um, obviously, we're not out of the woods yet, but great to see that there is light at the end of the lockdown tunnel for now. Um, so we're going to talk just we're going to touch on that just in a few moments. Um, but obviously, the first thing we're here to talk about is what is in my mug. Here's my mug, a mug for a mug. Uh, and this week uh, I've got a, a special blend that has been selected for me by my girlfriend. Well, I, I give her a choice of three and Corinne decided to choose this particular blend for me. And it's got a lovely little connection here because this blend is called Doi Pang Kong and it's from Thailand. And when Corinne and I met, she was on a missions team with an organization called YWAM seven years ago now or just over seven years ago we met and just before she came with her mission team to northern ireland they had just completed uh, some time on in the mission field in thailand so obviously thailand's a very special place to her and so i'm really looking forward to having this cup of coffee from thailand so here we go uh, i'm told that i'll get tastes of muscovado sugar dark rum and lychee i don't know what any of them taste like by the way but let's try it out As I said, I don't, I don't really know what any of those things taste like, but that is a very nice, smooth blend. I don't really know if I've ever had uh, coffee from Thailand. All I know about Thailand, apart from Corinne having been on a missions trip there, is that it's quite humid. So that probably helps the beans quite a lot, but that is a lovely cup of coffee. Now we go on to the other part of our time together today, and that is to look at God's word. And I want to remain in the Psalms this week. Last week we were in the Psalms, but I want to stay in the Psalms and I want to read Psalm 127 to you. So here we go. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labour in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat. For he grants sleep to those he loves. Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. Over the last few months, as many of us have found ourselves under restrictions and confined to home, we may have decided to engage in some home improvements around the house. One home improvement that I tried to do was to make my house a little smarter. I purchased all the, the necessary equipment. I bought some smart bulbs. I bought a hub uh, to run all the bulbs through. And then I went about and set the bulbs up in each room. A fairly simple process, I have to admit. And now, with a, just a command from me, my lights can be switched on and off with just my voice, in theory. Of course, being from Lurgan, my smart house has more than a little trouble in trying to understand my voice commands. Now, we've all encountered that moment, haven't we? When we try to set up or fix an electrical appliance or activate a device with voice commands, uh, and they don't work as described, only for us to then discover that the problem wasn't the device itself, but actually it was us. We simply 
hadn't set up the device right, we hadn't it plugged in, or we couldn't be understood. Like poor old me with my smart bulbs. What's the term that they use for it? Operator error. And that reminds me of this passage from Psalm 127 and these incredibly important words. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labour in vain. It's important that before we even get started in anything, that the basics are in place. Like the famous parable that Jesus tells, the best house is the one that has the strongest foundation. If the foundation isn't strong enough, then all the work that goes into building the house is for nothing. Because when the storms come, the house comes tumbling down. Over these last few months, we have had to reimagine what our lives look like in many areas, from work, from family, to all the relationships that we have, and, and so many other things. And one of those areas that we've had to reimagine is church. I often reflected uh, in the past, at the end of church services, that one of my favourite parts of the church service was the end, when we could go in and share in fellowship with one another and have some coffee. I've missed that, and I'm sure many of you will have missed that too. And circumstances that we have found ourselves in over these last few months have forced us to rethink what church looks like. It has been a strange and interesting time as many of us have tuned in online to watch church. I have to confess, I have even tuned into church in my pyjamas on a Sunday morning, a very strange experience. Some of us have even had the opportunity to tune into multiple churches, something that we wouldn't be able to do if we were physically present in a church, but something that we have been able to do in these times to take in other services that are being offered by churches in the area. Of course, it can never replace what we have been used to with a physical church, but new opportunities and blessings have been opened to, up to us as well. When we return to church, and, and surely it is a matter of not if, but when at this point, things will be different from what we remember them, at least for a while. You know, it, will, it will also give us an opportunity to reflect upon and perhaps reimagine what it is that makes church important. If we have the right foundation in place, then everything else is secondary. If we focus on God and what he is calling us to do and be in these days, then everything else will fall into its appropriate place. If we allow the Lord to build the house, then our labours, whatever they may be, won't be in vain. So this passage reminds us that we need God in all that we do, whether it's in our relationships with others, in our workplace, at home with our families, or in our church community. Trying to live life without God in that foundational place is like the appliance that hasn't been plugged in or the smart house that is too dumb to understand our accents. So let us put God in charge of our lives. Let him build in our lives structures that are strong and everlasting. Let us ask ourselves, what area of our life today do we need to involve God in more? Where do we let God, where do we need to let God be the prime focus? Where do we need to let God guide us and teach us and encourage us? And as we watch the Lord build the house, we will know that our labours for him will not be in vain. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you're interested in all areas of our lives. Help us to seek you and put you first in all things. Help us to allow you to work in and through our lives. Lord, as we labour for your kingdom, may you be the focus of all we do and may you be glorified. Amen. Thanks for tuning in once again this week and perhaps by way of uh, engaging and responding, you might want to tell us a little bit uh, about any home improvements that you may have taken over these last couple of months of lockdown. Um, you certainly couldn't have gone much worse than I with my smart bulb catastrophe. They are all working now perfectly, but there was a while there where I was extremely frustrated 
at my smart home. I felt like the stupid one. But do share with us uh, some of your own home improvements and maybe share with us some of the encouraging verses that you've come across, especially in this time of coronavirus. Uh, share with us how they have challenged and encouraged you and who knows they may be an encouragement to other people as well. So thank you for joining with me uh, and I pray that God will continue to guide you and be with you and bless you and those whom you love. Cheerio.